I don't know about you, but when I was in medical school, sometimes my anatomy lab quizzes went something like this. Sartorius? Deltoid. Yeah, yeah, deltoid. Humorous? Deltoid. Yeah. All right, I guess you cannot pass an anatomy exam by writing down deltoid for every answer. So what can you do instead? How about learning how to quiz yourself on anatomy? I know it sounds boring, but bear with me. Coming up with ways to quiz yourself can be lots of fun. And in this video, we will share some of the best ways to test your anatomy knowledge. Spoiler alert, um, they don't include writing deltoid for every answer. All right, let's talk about some fun ways you can quiz yourself on anatomy. First method, let's start with some good old flashcards. The tried and tested way. Start with some old cardboard paper or some paper that is thick enough that if you write you don't see what's on the other side. You can also buy some flashcards that are cut and ready to roll. That is usually a time saver. But if you are into craft like me, you can cut up paper easily into similar sized rectangles. I like to make them a bit larger than playing cards so you can shuffle them easily while still being able to see the images and text clearly. If you're creative and can draw, which I like to think I can, it might be fun to get your favorite colored pencils out right now and draw, okay, fine, the deltoid. But if drawing is not your thing, that's okay. We got you covered. If you register for free at kenhub.com, you can find thousands of illustrations from our fully illustrated comprehensive atlas covering the human body from head to toe. You can simply download and print out any image you want to use on your flashcards. Let's do again the deltoid. Then I will cut it out and glue it to my flashcard. When you're done drawing or sticking your atlas printouts onto one side of your card, turn it over and write the name of the structure on the other side. I like to write both the common name in English and the Latin name on the back so that I can learn both of them at once. And I usually add some relevant information about this structure that I can also use to quiz myself. Since this is a muscle, I will add origin, insertion, innervation, and function. And voila, all you have to do now is look at the image in front of the card and then flip it so you can read the names or the information related to that structure. Oh, what a coincidence. Pulled out again the deltoid. Okay, the second method of quizzing yourself on anatomy, labeling. There are two ways you can go about this. First of all, you can simply grab your favorite atlas that shows labeled images and cover up the names of the structures present with a sheet of paper. I like to use either post-its or a light glue washi tape so we don't damage the book. Then you can simply write the name of the structure on the paper in the place where the name normally would be. Na 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 na, no picking. I'm watching you. Okay, labeling with a textbook like I've just showed you is one thing, but there is even a better way to do that. With worksheets. At KenHub, we have a collection of labeling worksheets that you can download entirely for free. We have worksheets that cover the most relevant topics in human anatomy, from the skeletal system to the anatomy of the brain. Each sheet consists of one or more of our expert validated illustrations with empty labels that you can fill as you test your knowledge on every topic. You can download our labeling worksheets for free by heading over to our website at kenhub.com and searching for the topic of your choice. I will search for example, cranial nerves. In our free knowledge library, you'll find this article, cranial nerves, quizzes and labeling exercises. Click on it and it will take you to this page. Scroll down all the way to where you can find the button download PDF worksheet blank. Click on this button 
button and here is your worksheet ready to print. Alternatively, you can also label it on your tablet. To make things easier for you, I will leave a link to our complete list of free labeling worksheets in the video description below. Flashcard and labeling exercises are truly a great way to get physical with anatomy and efficiently test your knowledge. However, there are even better options out there. Remember that you need to learn thousands of structures in anatomy, so creating something by hand, even though effective, can be a bit more laborious. And you and I know that there is a life beyond school. At CanHub, we want you to learn anatomy quickly so you can focus on other subjects or have more time for yourself or others. So we have done the work for you and created quizzes with thousands of questions that allow you to test your knowledge. Our anatomy quiz question formats range from basic identification quizzes right up to expert level clinical questions. They are all based on the tried and tested method of space repetition, which allows you to revise previously covered information at periodic intervals in order to retain your knowledge even as you get introduced to new topics. Both our pre-made and custom quizzes offer different types of quiz questions. The first type of quiz is the identification quizzes. One of the first things you will do as an anatomy student is learn how to identify all the structures in the human body. And that is exactly what these identification quizzes will aid you in doing. Our identification quizzes come in two levels, basic and advanced. Both these types of quizzes include the following exercises. Easy, in this kind of exercise, your job is to select answers from two possible images using one additional image as a hint. In the 4-1 exercise, you'll be able to see four images. Your job is to select the image which matches the name of the structure written on the screen. Identify image. In this exercise, you can expect to pick one of the four possible text answers to identify the image. And finally, spell term. Here we'll show you the image, then ask you to spell out the name of the structure with no additional prompts. The hardest of all identification exercises. B-I-C-E-P spells Deltoid. The second kind of quiz you can try is muscle facts quizzes. These are special anatomy quiz questions that focus on muscle origins, insertions, innervations, and functions. If you want to sharpen your knowledge on all things muscle related, these are the quizzes for you. Now, for those of you who know how to identify anatomical structures and want to challenge themselves even further, our next type of quiz is perfect for you. I am talking about the question bank quizzes. The question bank quizzes will test you on topography, clinical correlations and scenarios, and functional anatomy. The other type of quiz that you can try here at CanHub is the intelligent mix. The intelligent mix is a combination of all of the above quiz types based on your personal learning history. If you want to test your knowledge across a wide range of questions from muscle attachments to structure identification to clinical question banks, then this is the quiz type for you. Now, you may be asking, João, I want to be able to create my own quiz, one that covers all the materials that is going to be up on my next exam. What do I do? Well, that's where our custom quizzes come in. The custom quiz allows you to mix and match different topics as well as pick specific structures. This is the perfect tool for you if you want to tailor your learning to the topics you need to focus on most. Deltoid. Deltoid? And deltoids. Look, I'm getting 100% in all of this. Oh shoot, you got me. I have to make a confession. Guys, um, I have never passed my anatomy exams. I don't. Just joking. 
But we I can't help know that anatomy is not an easy subject. I mean, we've spent eight years perfecting our quizzes, taking feedback from every student, understanding what they need to ace their anatomy exams. We know that they will be a lifesaver to you like they have been to thousands of students around the world. So check them out on our website. I hope all of these tips on how to quiz yourself for anatomy will help you become a stronger anatomy student. When your anatomy instructor says, your exam is coming up in a month, you'll say, girl, please. Maybe don't say that. Keep it to yourself, okay? But you get the point. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Please let us know what other learning techniques you use. And very important, like this video. It's a way of telling us that you want to see more of these videos. Until then, I will see you next time. Meow, <laughs> please. <laughs> Your exam is coming up in a month. No, 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 no. Keep it, keep it. Just keep it. I, I just... <laughs> this? Girl, please, no. <laughs> like intelligent people.